Today, we're talking about the four different ways you can go ahead and actually make money reselling your season tickets. Let's get started. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name's Shrez, here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, make sure that you have all fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking all about selling tickets, specifically season seats. Season seats, season tickets, they got a ton of names, ton of acronyms, but it all boils down to the same thing. Buying tickets for that team for the entire season with the expectation of making a ton of money. Today, we're talking about the four different ways to go ahead and actually make that money, and we're gonna get started right now. So, number one, the very first thing you need to know about how to make money selling season tickets is you've got to start selling local. Selling tickets locally is the best way to go ahead and actually start making money selling season seats. There are a couple of reasons behind that. One, if you are selling locally, that means no fees. You don't have to pay any transaction fees to the online resellers. You can go ahead and build a connection directly with your client. And three, you'll be able to negotiate the best price possible to make sure that you're gonna make the most amount of money. Selling tickets last minute in person can be a lot easier, especially if you live close to the event. You can go ahead, hawk the tickets, scalp the tickets right on the street, right outside the venue. You know there's people going there trying to get those tickets into that game. And you're the person who's going to make their dreams come true. Selling tickets locally is an excellent way of going ahead and actually starting when you are getting into the reselling business. This will allow you to both gauge the market, understand what people are looking for, understand what they're not looking for, and get a good idea of where and when you're going to be able to make the most amount of money selling those seats. You can go ahead and actually start selling and listing those tickets on Facebook, Craigslist, all the other social media platforms that you have. Start building up that network. And that, my friends, drives us into point number two, building a client list. This, I find, is actually even stronger than just going ahead and selling locally. Yes, at the beginning, when you first start out, you're going to have no contacts. You're not going to have anybody who's actually looking for tickets. It's going to take you a while, and it's going to be a grind to build up that client list. But once you do that, it makes life a lot easier. You know you have these people who are willing to go to certain games every year. You start to develop some relationships if you've provided them an excellent service, both in terms of communication, price, seating location, all that good stuff. Then they're more likely to come back to you year after year after year because they know, hey, they can trust you. You give them a good product and they know everything is going to work out. That means you can go ahead and rely on them to buy those tickets every single year. Once you renew those seats saying, hey, here's the new tickets that I got this year, here's the pricing, here's all the games, let me know what you're interested in because I can hook you up. And also, once you have that list built up, it's not just that one individual who's gonna be buying tickets, you may have potential five, 10, 15, 30 people all trying to buy tickets. And every year, one, you're continuing to add and build up that list. And two, if there are ever situations where you don't have your initial client list who are gonna be buying those tickets for that specific game, then you go back out, try again to find more people locally, see if there's anybody who's willing to go ahead buy those tickets and then you can get them added onto the list. For later games in that season down the road, you now are continuing to build up that client list, that client base. That becomes very, very valuable in the future and especially once you get into the playoffs because you know these people, they are warm leads. They are people who are actively going to be looking for tickets and once playoffs roll around, it's it's a whole nother ball game. Again, selling tickets locally and then also building them into your own client list. That means you're going to have the best fees, the best pricing, best customer it's all going to be amazing. You can't go wrong once you start to build up that list. And that, my friends, drives us into point number three, being able to list those tickets early and fast. Yes, if you are selling tickets locally or you're going to be doing it through you know, social media, whatever the case may be there, you can actually go ahead and start listing and selling those tickets as soon as the schedule gets announced. The NHL schedule for next season just got released and there are already listings going up for tickets for next season. Many individual tickets have not even gone on sale yet for so many different teams, yet season seat holders, they already know where their seats are going to be so they can go ahead and list those tickets and potentially get even higher prices instead of having to wait for the general sale to buy and then try and resell those seats. When you are listing tickets earlier on, there is a lower supply because one, not everybody's gone onto the process of actually getting their tickets listed and because of that, it's possible, not guaranteed, but it's definitely possible that you may see some early sales that take place, whether it's in person or online, where you're able to command a slightly higher premium on those seats just because there aren't as many options available to them at that point in time. For example, I have sold some season seats that I have out at Calgary Broadway. 
I'm able to command a pretty big markup early on just because the general sale hasn't even happened yet. As a result, I can go ahead and command a premium for those seats right now before there is a ton of supply out in the market and potentially driving those prices down. Being able to make $75 per ticket six months in advance of everybody else is a great feeling when you know that the prices may actually come down quite a bit once the event is you know, on general sale. Anytime you can find an edge to be able to get those tickets sold earlier and faster is always a win in my book. So being able to list those tickets early is a huge, huge advantage you have over everybody else who's just a general ticket buyer. Being a season seat holder gives you a whole bunch of additional privileges and benefits. And this one is a key one for being able to make a ton of money with those tickets. And lastly, number four, as I've already alluded to, if your team qualifies for the playoffs, or if they actually make it to their individual finals championship, whatever that is in whatever sport that we're talking about, you're gonna be able to make a ton of money because playoffs, that is honestly where the real money is made. Yes, in a baseball season, you got 81 games. Teams will be good, teams will be bad. There'll be some weekday games, random weekend games, things going on here, there, everywhere. The baseball season is so long, it's so drawn out, just such a grind. There's no way you're gonna be able to make a profit on every single game selling season seats for baseball. It's, it's just not possible. But if your team happens to make the playoffs, it is a whole new ball game, literally and figuratively. It's, it's basically the equivalent of saying, hey, you won the jackpot, and then you win the jackpot game after game after game all the way to the World Series where it's just, it's just bonkers, okay? If that team that you have season seats for ends up getting to their finals championship match, you're, you're in for a lot of money. For example, Toronto Raptors 2019, they had their magical playoff run with Kawhi Leonard going all the way to the NBA finals. It was mind-boggling. You've seen the pictures, you've seen the videos, you've seen the games, you've heard of the crazy ticket prices. Let me, let me share, let me share a little bit with you, okay? 2019, I had my own Toronto Raptors season tickets. I had four season tickets and I bought some additional tickets as well. All in all, I spent a total of $16,713.49 on all of my tickets. So that included tickets to rounds one, two, three, four, and any additional tickets that I ended up purchasing along the way. With those tickets, I was able to sell gross $34,404.06. That's how much I took in after fees, commissions, all that good stuff. I was able to profit, okay? This is profit, $15,838.05. Just let that sink in, okay? When a team qualifies for the playoffs, it's usually gonna be a great thing for your season seats. When that team qualifies for the next round, next round to the finals, that's where things just go Bonkers. I'm sure you saw recently with Milwaukee Bucks. If you were a season seat holder, you were buying tickets for around $180 for the finals. By game six, they were going for over $1,500 easily in the upper bowl. It was mind blowing. People were making money hand over fist. It was crazy. So, I mean, there is money to be made, okay? With that being said though, with season seats, you have the added advantage of one, knowing exactly where your seats are gonna be so you can go ahead and get them listed for all the rounds right away. And two, you're getting the best price possible. When you buy season tickets, you are getting the lowest average cost per ticket per game. That means you're gonna be able to make the most potential amount of profit if you are able to sell those seats early and often. This is where the cream of the crop is. This is where you make all your money, playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. That is why you buy season tickets. Yes, there are all those other fringe benefits that you get for being a season seat holder. You can go ahead and check out that video if you are so inclined. But at the end of the day, if your team makes the playoffs, that's where you're gonna make your money and that is why you buy those season seats. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are a few risks associated with buying season seats. And you can go ahead, check that out in the next video over here, where I talk about the three main pitfalls of actually going ahead buying season seats and how you could potentially lose quite a bit of money. With that being said though, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.